Hi all folks, this is Max from Kindle, RootKindleFire.com. So today we're going to root our Kindle Fire. Um, this is based on the latest update. Um, so let me show you how to check that. If you go to Settings, um, More, all right, and if you um, hit Device right there, um, I've got 6.2.1 as you can see right there 6.2.1 or later should work if you're on 6.1 or 6.1 or 6.0 um, go here and you should be able to hit that update your Kindle um, make sure you have Wi-Fi connected and update it to 6.2.1 if you don't have it or you can use the older method but you might as well use the new method and also update your device so once you've got that ready um, next you wanna make sure uh, allow installation of applications and say OK. All right, that's all we need to do for now. Um, we're going to connect it to our computer. Um, this works on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Um, uh, but I'll have the uh, Windows guide first. Um, and I'll have it using Linux and Mac um, guide again later. Connect it to your computer. All right, and you get that sign. And leave it alone. Let's go to our computer. Next, what you're going to do is download Kindle Fire root new.zip, okay? And then you can use your favorite unzipping program to uh, uncompress. So I'll walk that through with you. Um, so I use Alzip, which is a free Korean program, but you can use anything. And then extract it. Um, usually when you extract, you should have an option to uh, put it into a directory you want. So here, I'm going to actually put it under C. C drive like that. That's actually C drive backslash um, right there. That's not a W. Um, that's actually a backslash. Backslash this key. Um, the opposite of that one. But my Korean font does it like that. So anyway, I'm gonna extract it to my root directory of my C drive um, and extract. All right. And this will give me under my C drive um, Kindle Fire root new with all the files I need to root and also insert uh, install twerp recovery by the way it's the installation rooting process is completely safe you can always unbrick unroot your Kindle fire so long as you follow my directions um, so just follow carefully and you'll get it done um, next what you want to do is uh, open up control panel um, to do that uh, if you op open up control panel and go to hardware and sound and open up device manager this is for windows only um, this is for windows uh, you'll see a kindle that thing there and we just need to update the drivers so double click there hit uh, update driver and select browse my computer for driver software and then pick let me pick from a list of drivers on my computer and then pick show all devices and click next and then click on have disk and you're gonna browse to the folder that you just unzipped um, the Kindle Fire root uh, file so which is for me is C drive most people on Windows will be C drive and let's go to Kindle Fire root new um, right there Kindle Fire root new open and in there you will find the USB driver folder double click there and select Android underscore WinUSB.inf. Open. Uh, select OK. And select Android ADB interface. Click Next. And say Yes. And uh, if you get this warning, install this driver anyway. And this will install the ADB drivers. But there's one more thing you got to do, um, which is very simple. Doop, 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 doop. So I'll be back when this is done. So when that is done, uh, hit close, close. Um, now you got Android ADB interface. As long as you get that, you're all ready to go. Close everything up. Um, go back to the folder and double click on USB underscore driver folder. And uh, do a right click on ADB underscore USB INI. Oops right click and copy select copy and then you're gonna to go to desktop and find your username 
mine is Max, and you should have a folder called .android. If that doesn't have it, you can make one, okay? And then go into that folder and do right click and paste. And this will copy USB underscore a a d b underscore USB dot i n i, which will make um, make the a d b work, so you can root your Kindle Fire. So once we got that out of the way. Um, we're going to open up a command prompt um, under star search type cmd. Um, I'll show you right here. Start, hit start, and then under search I, I type cmd. Right, let's zoom in there so you can see. See? If you enter that, you get a nice little uh, command prompt here, which I'm going to move it to the left here because it's too much crowded over there. And let's adjust the monitor real quick. And let's get on with our rooting bits of this. Adjust the camera a little bit more there. And then you're going to browse through the directory. You unzipped the folder by typing cd backslash. Again, this is this this one, the opposite of that. And type uh, Kindle Fire Root New, like that. Enter. All right, and we're going to leave that alone, all right? And then we're going to go back, open up the folder um, that has the the files in it. Um, Kindle Fire Root New. There we go, this one. And um, here you'll find Kindle Fire Root.apk. Um, do a right click, copy. And then go to your Kindle. For me, it's the L drive. And do right click, um, paste. I already copied it, that's why I do copy and replace. That's fine. And then what we'll do is go back to our Kindle Fire. So we got our Kindle Fire here. It's still connected, right? Um, just disconnect and uh, hit home. And go to apps and hit on store. And you're going to download this app called ES File Manager, ES File Explorer. Type ES and hit the search button. And you'll see ES File Explorer install, install, and this will allow you to get temporary root um, using the APK file. For, thanks to the guys at RootsWiki and AndroidPolice.com. And open this app, all right. And here you'll find the file you copied over earlier. You can change the way it looks by hitting the upper right corner here, so you can get the full file name. Um, click on Kindle Fire Root.apk and choose install. And then open and agree. And you rock, hit on you rock and hit root and exit. And then um, we're gonna go back to um, go back to our computer real quick. Now here we're going to type, um, go back to the command prompt, type adb uh, root, alright, and uh, restarting adb as root. If you get that, um, mm -hmm. everything is good. If you get some kind of error, that means um, your driver is not installed, so go back and try reinstalling drivers, make sure you can see it in device manager. Um, and also you copied over that adb underscore usb dot ini to your um, user dot android folder. Sorry, it's very confusing. But if you follow directions, you, you'll be able to root your um, Kindle Fire. It's not actually that hard. Just the first time is hard. Next type uh, adb remount. Oops. Remount. Ah. Enter. And then it gets remount succeeded. And then next you're going to type adb push su slash system slash xpin slash su enter uh, and next type next you're going to type adb shell chown space 0, 0.0 space slash system slash xpin slash su hit enter next you're going to type adb shell um, ch mod 06755 slash system slash xpin slash su. You can also use your mouse. I'll have the links where you can copy it. Copy and paste it and you can use right click paste to paste uh, each of the lines and then click enter. 
Uh, and then next you're going to type um, adb install superuser.apk like that. This install the superuser um, application file, the app itself. And we install the superuser, the root, rooting files up there. Hit that. And if that's successful, um, you're rooted pretty much. If you reboot from this point, um, you are pretty much rooted. So next what we're going to do is... Um, since we are here, we're going to go install the uh, Torp recovery, which allows you to back up your ROM um, and install new ROMs. So what we're going to type is ADB, oops, ADB shell. All right, and then type um, SU and type IDME space boot mode space 4002. All right. And then you're gonna type reboot. All right. And your your uh, Kindle Fire now is gonna be in fast boot mode. Um, from here, we're gonna go back and open up uh, Device Manager. All right. So let's open up Device Manager. Um, go go open up uh, Start and go to Control Panel, Hardware and Sound. Device Manager, and uh, you should get you should get something like Kindle something. If if it doesn't give you Kindle, unplug and plug it in real quick. Uh, if you get that, you might want to try rebooting. So hold down the power button real quick, and it will power off after about ten seconds. If you don't get that, then you can just go ahead and install the drivers like you did earlier. So that's off. I'm going to turn it back on, hit the power button. All right. And we should get something like a Kindle something here. There we go. So if you get that Kindle, you're all good to go. Uh, we're going to install the drivers again exactly the same way we did it earlier. Double click on it. Hit update driver. Um, hit browse my computer for driver software. Um, let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer and uh, select show all devices and click next and uh, click on have disk and browse to that folder it's the same exact same folder kindle fire root new and then in the usb underscore driver and android underscore win usb dot if i just do it this way there's a faster way to do it but i just do it this way just step by step that way if you get in trouble um, if you follow my directions you'll always root it so when you open um, hit ok and select ADB, uh, Android ADB interface again. Next, say yes, and you'll get another one of these. Um, install this driver, anyways. And uh, you should now get Android ADB interface. Um, if you don't get that and it already says and Android um, ADB interface, you're all good to go. But in my experience, it, it actually shows up the second time. Um, so if you get that, you're all good to go. So in Android ADB interface. It's pausing a little bit here. So we're all good to go. Close this up. Uh, we're gonna go back. Our Kindle Fire is still on the logo because it's in fast boot mode. Go back to your uh, command prompt and this is what we're gonna type. Fast boot minus I zero times one nine four nine boot twrp dash blaze um, dash 2.0.0rc0.img all right and enter and this basically installs um, the new torque recovery um, and it will install it it'll reboot and install it okay and you'll see that it's going to install now so torque recovery is basically a graphical recovery for your Kindle fire it's awesome Install complete, reboot, and you will end up in fast boot mode again, all right? And uh, this is just, it'll probably get stuck there. It'll probably get stuck here. And uh, just leave it alone. And let's go back to our uh, command prompt, and you're going to type fast boot minus I, zero time is 1949, space OEM space, IDME space, boot mode 4000 
because we just installed the uh, Torb recovery, so it's always going to boot into recovery unless we actually type this to fix it. So hit enter, and uh, you should be all good to go. It's now just um, hold down the power button so it powers off and reboot, and you should have a fully rooted Kindle Fire with um, Torb recovery. So I'll keep holding down the power. And then let's turn it on and let's let me switch the camera real quick. So that's what I was doing in between the videos. Going up and down, up and down. So now it will show you the warning screen and actually boot. And if you want to get into tour recovery, let's do that actually really quick. Hit the power button when you see that screen for about two seconds and let go. And now we'll enter a tour recovery where you can make a backup. Um, oh, you know what? That was too late, so it booted in. I'll show you after it boots and we have super user. So we should have a fully rooted Kindle Fire with super user app. You can see that we have super user app. Go to apps. Um, we have super user. Um, let me try to open up a rooted app. Um, so I'll, I have some in my, you know, yeah, I have set CPU here. So let's let's install this, and when we open it, it should ask for super user access. Not not open when you hit auto detect, and it will ask you for super user right about now. No, now, <laughs> yeah, there you go. So hit allow. Um, so that proves that uh, my Kindle Fire has been rooted. Um, just one note of warning in video: if you um, root your Kindle Fire you'll not be able to watch um, Amazon Prime videos anymore which I don't know why Amazon locked it down see now you can't watch it it's I think it's because they're worried that we might root our devices and maybe you know copy over the video somehow into our device and spread it or something I, I don't know uh, whatever so that's been rooted um, fully working fully rooted um, next video I'll show you how to install Google Market I guess uh, and next what you can do is uh, I'll show you the torp recovery to get into it shut it down um, this is for installing ROMs backing up ROMs and whatnot and then you turn it back on and then right when you see this hit the power button for about two seconds one two three alright and then if you let go it should enter into um, the uh, torp recovery there you go. So that's how you enter um, Torp Recovery. You can see you can um, install stuff. Um, there's a home button, back button. You can wipe stuff. You can also uh, mount it as USB storage if you want without booting into um, your full system. So this has a lot of good stuff. Um, you can also unroot your device. And we'll have a video of all of that. Um, for now, we can reboot system. You have a fully um, rooted Kindle Fire, and you can do this on a Mac or Linux. Um, all you have to—I actually have the files in there. All you have to do is replace the a, anything ADB, um, replace it with ADB dash Mac and ADB dash Linux. Also, you you might need a dot slash in front, and also for fastboot, the same thing: fastboot dash Mac, fastboot dash Linux. I'll um, also add dash slash in the front. If you know what I'm talking about, you can do it. But um, if you don't, I'll have another video, which is pretty much exactly the same um, but with the you know the switch out of the fast boot and adb commands anyway thanks you all subscribe i'll have more cool hacks for um, rootkindlefire.com and uh, i've got a fully rooted uh, kindle fire um, so see y'all later thanks subscribe